Hi Gemini, this is your behind the scenes reading for April 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for April 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for April 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for April 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Gemini. Gemini, these are your cards, honey. So, Gemini. You have the five of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something, yes? However, you can tell me that some type of conflict, disagreement, or argument, or some type of drama is taking place here. Clarify the five of wands for Gemini. Clarify the five of wands for Gemini. Clarify the five of wands for Gemini. It is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. Destiny. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me you're dealing with an Aquarius. You can tell me you're following your destiny, getting your wish. However, you can tell me that you're needing to heal individually on your own or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Clarify the star for Gemini. Clarify the star for Gemini. Clarify the star for Gemini. It is clarified with the five of wands again. Goodness, listen. So, Gemini, listen. You can tell me you're conflicted within about maybe following your destiny or some type of wish that may be come, coming true for you. However, you can tell me that it was some type of conflict, disagreement, or argument here. And you're either telling me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. Or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. And you could be conflicted within on whether or not to reconcile after some type of conflict. Listen, Gemini, you have the two of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I? Shouldn't I? Will I? Won't I? I don't know. So, Gemini, listen, you're at a crossroads, needing to decide here, needing to pick a path. Clarify the two of wands for Gemini. Clarify the two of wands for Gemini. Clarify the two of wands for Gemini. It is clarified with the four of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coin, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that this whole argument could have been over you holding on to your coins, being stingy, not sharing here, okay? And it puts you at a crossroads because it caused some type of argument or you're conflicted within about it. However, you could also tell me that you're closed off until you make some type of decision because you could be conflicted within here, okay? Hmm. We'll see because this argument could have also been caused by the fact that maybe you kept something close to your chest. You have the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather
other information and research looking into something. So Gemini, listen, it very well could have been some immature, premature communication had here. Yes. Or you went looking and spying here. Clarify the page of swords for Gemini. Clarify the page of swords for Gemini. Clarify the page of swords for Gemini. It is clarified with the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the queen of wands for Gemini. Clarify the queen of wands for Gemini. Clarify the queen of wands for Gemini. It is clarified with you, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, the king of swords. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. So Gemini, this is you. Clarify the king of swords for Gemini. Clarify the king of swords for Gemini. What about Gemini? What about Gemini? Clarify the King of Swords for Gemini. It is clarified with the Four of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So listen, Gemini, is it that you guys had this immature, premature communication here about maybe leveling up, about commitment here, about some type of ceremony here? However, is it that we're having this immature, premature communication, some type of argument over your stability, your foundation, your coins, and you being stingy with them? Listen, Gemini, you have the Queen of Wands again, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with this fire sign, or you're wanting to take action. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Gemini. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Gemini. Clarify the Queen of Wands. For Gemini, it is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but listen, you can tell me that, hey, I just want to be happy here. Or you're telling me that something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun. Clarify the sun. For Gemini, clarify the sun. For Gemini, clarify the sun. For Gemini, it is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So listen, could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that, hey, you know, I'm in the dark concerning something. You can tell me you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for Gemini. Clarify the moon for Gemini. Clarify the moon for Gemini. You have the sun, moon, and stars. It is clarified with the knight of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking your truth. Spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift. It's bitter. It's harsh. It's direct. It's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So, Gemini, listen, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords 
for Gemini. Clarify the Knight of Swords. For Gemini. Clarify the Knight of Swords. For Gemini. It is clarified with temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So listen, Gemini, I could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Very well, could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarified temperance. For Gemini, clarified temperance. For Gemini, clarified temperance. For Gemini, it is clarified with the Page of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. So listen, Gemini, you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. It very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there is a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Gemini. Clarify the page of cups for Gemini. Clarify the page of cups for Gemini. It is clarified with the four swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So listen, oh boy. Gemini, you can tell me that there was something illuminated. Something came to light. Some type of secret here that caused some type of confrontation here, okay? I feel like, yes, you're needing time to heal on your own, okay? You know, heal on your own and recover and heal on your own. But it could also be an apology coming in here, okay? And so you have to ask yourself whether or not you want to, you know, heal things, mend things, work things out, or even forgive or accept an apology from this person for the time being you may be closed off. Also, this secret that may have been revealed is that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love that is causing all of this conflict. Gemini, you have the Page of Cups again. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. <clears throat> These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Like I said, you could be sending out love messages and apology. Very well could be receiving love messages and an apology. Could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced. Clarify the page of cups for Gemini. Clarify the page of cups for Gemini. Clarify the page of cups for Gemini. It is clarified with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family. Someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Gemini. It is clarified with the Two of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? I don't know. So Gemini, listen. Yes, 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 yes. You guys had a heated discussion or argument, okay? I feel like you're just at a crossroads right now as to whether or not you're going to accept this apology and heal things with them. I feel like you're conflicted with them and whether or not you're going to heal things with them after some type of conflict or confrontation concerning some type of secret being illuminated here. Something is coming out here. Is it that you went by someone's house? Are you discovering someone is married? 
You had to tell me, Gemini, this is your behind the scenes reading for April 2022. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.